Of all of the questions that I get through social media, there is one question that seems to be more prevalent than any. That is, how to price security guard services? But that's a hard question to answer. The reason being there's a lot of variables. But if you just want a quick answer, most of your competition, these securitases and allies, are billing $22 to $23 per hour, and they're paying $15 per hour out of that. And I'm talking about armed. Unarmed's even worse. Unarmed's somewhere between $19 and $21 per hour, and then they're paying anywhere between $11 and $13 per hour to the guard. Now, if you want to know how I, as an intellectual, <laughs> do it, well then stay tuned, and I'll explain. without getting into a college lecture about business theory, there is something that you have to be mindful of, which is your overhead. This is the amount of money that your company costs just to exist. These could be licensing fees, insurance premiums, electricity, and rent for your office if you have one, unbillable office day of payroll, so on and so forth. But you have to realize that all these things cost money. There's something to work towards, but it's just not feasible to start a company with that much overhead front-loaded onto its operation. So in either event, it is imperative to understand how to bill for security guard services because I've literally watched companies go under trying to be a lowest bidder operation and not realize that they weren't even billing enough to cover taxes and they were losing money on every guard hour. So first things first, I'll make this easy. You need to speak to an accountant. They're not always, most are not going to charge you to ask simple questions, but you need to speak to an accountant to determine what your corporate tax rate is. Now in most states, a service is not taxable. However, in here in Maryland, there is about a half dozen services that are taxed, and go figure, security is one of them. So there is a sales tax associated with security service here, and possibly wherever you are as well. And that's why it's important to speak to an accountant. To figure out exactly what your corporate tax rate is. Now you know I'm the first one to tell you there's no such thing as a magic number. I can't just give you a magic number. I can give you an arbitrary number. However in this case there is somewhat of a magic number that I have used during my experience of running a national security company. Hold it right there. Don't think I haven't noticed that 90% of you are returning viewers but have not subscribed. What are you waiting for? You must like what you see because you keep coming back. <laughs> Click subscribe. That way I can continue bringing this content to you. All right, back to the video. And that is an absolute maximum of a 65% labor split. Labor split is where you split the amount of money that you charge per guard hour, if that's how you bill it, because there's many ways to bill security service. But the most common is per hour, a set amount of money per hour. And that percentage is where it's split to say, if you say 65% is the labor split, 65% of that money goes to the labor, and the rest is gross gross revenue, which is different than net, which is the profit. So just to make this easy, because I don't have a calculator right now and I'm using my phone to record myself, let's just say we were doing a 50% labor split at, again, just to make it easy, $30 per hour. That means $15 goes to the labor, the guard, the guard makes $15 per hour, the company grosses $15 per hour. And so when I say maximum, what we used nationwide was a maximum of 65%, and that seemed to cover most corporate tax rates. 
with higher ones being up 30, 33 percent, depending on what state we were operating in. Some states are less. Some states don't tax security service at all. It gets very confusing, and it's why a lot of smaller companies I know do okay with like using QuickBooks and stuff like that. But it gets to a point where you really do need an accountant to manage the stuff for you because it gets very confusing. It gets extremely expensive if you make a mistake, but it's also beneficial to have an accountant on your side because this accountant is going to help you get and receive different tax credits. And I'm not telling you this as a way to evade taxes. <laughs> and I'm not telling you this um, as a way to get over on the employee and keep more money just because you're Scrooge McDuck. I'm telling you this because running a security company when it's fully operational, I'm talking about you got cars on the road. They're getting gas every other day. You've got a dispatch center. You have servers and you're paying ADP to do your payroll. You've got an office that you're, pay that you're paying rent on or leasing or if you've got a building that you own. And this stuff adds up. And it's important to capture as much of the gross as possible. Not because we're greedy, but because we don't want to go out of business. Let me make this easy for you. Take what you want to pay the guard. Whatever your industry average is. And let's say that I want my labor split percentage to be 55. Take the number that you want to pay the guard. Divide it by the percentage that you want to assign. Whatever that equals, multiply it by 100 and that gives you your answer. Now before you go putting this system into play, <laughs> run it by your accountant and make sure that you're gonna be good to go. But that's how I do it here in Maryland and in uh, Washington, D.C. based on how our state and then the district tax codes work. And that's how I pull in a profit. So in either event, if you have any questions, shoot them over to me on Instagram at the security consultant, and I will catch you in the next video.